hey guys so in this lecture i will explain you what are structures in c sharp now if you are attending a c sharp interview this is a very important question that what is the difference between classes and structures so just like classes structures also store data but there are slight differences between classes and structures so in this lecture we will understand what are structures and then we will see what are what is the difference between classes and structures so let's quickly jump into our slides now structures in c sharp are value types that is they are stored on stack so classes in c sharp are reference types and structures are value types that is their objects are created onto the stack and classes object is created on onto the heap so this is the most important difference between classes and structures but we will see these differences later first we need to understand what are structures and also if you are new to uh, concepts of value types and reference types you can watch my previous video or one of my earlier videos in which i have explained you what are value types and reference types so just like classes structures provide a template of storing data with a slight difference so in a class you can have a employee class okay and it can have employee id first name and last name same could be also achieved with the help of structures so you can have employee id first name last name in a structures also but that employee object will be always be created on to the stack so in many cases a class can contain so small data that it is not advisable to manage a separate heap for it as classes are reference types so in such cases we use structures or structs and just like a class structures can have fields methods and constructors and all these times we have been using some predefined structures in our programs and those are integer float long etc so if you declare a variable of integer data type it's a struct so let's quickly jump into visual studio and see structures in action so before we start understanding structures let's look into common structures what we use daily so let me have this as a integer a and let me put a cursor here and go to its definition and you can see this is a structure data type okay so a integer is a structure now these data types here are a very small data type right it's just there to hold a value so suppose say i assign a value say 100 to this variable a it will be stored into the stack right so i don't need to create a class for storing this variable so this is the concept of structures why we use structures in c sharp if we have a very small data type we need to use structures just to preserve the memory of the program so let's make a custom struct just like we make a class so i have a custom struct say date and i can have fields assigned to it just like i do in class so let's say day integer month and integer year right so this structure is declared just like class and it can have fields same goes with methods and properties too so i can have a public method public void display date okay let me make these variables as public just to explain you because i need to access these variables outside my class so i can have a method display date which which only displays a date whatever date i have assigned so console dot write line the date is so i need to declare the placeholders slash 1 slash 2 and then i need to pass the day month and year and let me terminate this statement in here so you can see i have a simple structure called as date 
which uh, has two fe uh, three fields day month and year and what i am doing i am just displaying the date with the help of this method so this is the same concept of classes and we can use these things in classes too but what's the point of making a separate class for a simple date representation right i don't need to store my object of that date class onto the heap and then uh, i need to manage that object uh, or you can say the garbage collector needs to manage that object separately so i don't want it so right so that that this is the reason why we use structures in c sharp and then in the main method let's create a object of date dt equals new date dt dot day equals say 31st dt dot month equals say august and dt dot year say 2016 okay and then simply i need to write console dot read let's try to run this program and see what happens okay so before this we run this program we need to call this display method display date method so let me have this display date okay and let's try to run this now as you can see the date is 31st 8 so there was a comma in my date so let me have a slash let's try to run this again the date is 31st 8 I can achieve same, same thing with the help of a class as well. Okay, let's try to run this. The date is 31st 8 2016. So these structures and class perform same logic, but the only difference is that this DT object is stored onto the heap in case in case of class, and this DT object is stored onto the stack in case of structures and if you are uh, playing with smaller data types so you need to use structures just to for performance reasons so this is a very simple use of structures so let's jump into our slides now there are some differences between classes and structures which are described below so structures are value types and classes are reference types so this uh, i have explained you earlier also but this is the most important point when you are explaining someone that what is the difference between a value uh, a structure and a class and next comes the points regarding constructors so let's jump into our demo and see if we can use constructors in structures or not so you can see in this program i have initialized these fields in here right in the program class there are there, there might be some cases in which you need to initialize the field with the help of a constructor so in classes we do this with the help of a constructor in structures too we can achieve this with the help of a constructor so for this i need to have integer day parameter integer month and integer year okay and then i just write this dot day equals this dot month equals month same way is the case with year so i can initialize this with the help of a parameterized constructor okay so we can have constructors in structures too so this is the case with the help uh, with parameter uh, a constructor which takes parameters what if i don't provide any parameter inside it okay let's remove this so let's see what happens if we have a class in here okay and you can see a parameter less constructor is allowed inside a class right but in case of struct a parameter less constructor is not allowed in case of structures so we cannot write explicit parameterless constructors inside a structures that's because dotnet frameworks by default provide a 
parameterless constructor inside a structure so if i don't define anything there is a parameterless constructors of this structure date inside it but we cannot see this right so there is a parameterless constructor but this is provided by dotnet framework automatically we just don't need to write that parameterless constructors ourselves so structures can have constructors but only param uh, constructors with parameters they cannot have parameter less constructors and this very important point to remember regarding your interviews so let's jump into slides and you can see that point through struct uh, those structures can have constructors but in a structure we cannot write a default or parameter less constructor but in in a class we can do so so this we have seen so next comes a very important point structures do not support inheritance whereas classes do so so let me have uh, another struct here my struct okay let me try to inherit this date structure from my struct and you can see there is an error it says type my struct is a in interface list is not an interface so the moment we put this semicolon a structure accepts only interfaces it does not accepts another structure okay that means in structures inheritance is not allowed but if i have a interface in here my error goes away so i can have implementation of interfaces in structures but i cannot have inheritance in structures so don't get confused this is also a very confusing question so you need, you need to be very clear of your answer so inheritance is not allowed in structures but implementing an interface is allowed in structure so you can see the last point however just like classes structures support implementing of interfaces so these are three important points regarding difference between classes and structures so i hope this lecture has given you understanding about structures and what are the difference between structures and classes so here are the points for you to note it down and thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you once again